Let's take a look at the Terraform exporter for SAP BTP. The CLI is called via BTP TF, and in order to take a look what's available, we add the minus minus health flag, and this gives us a short overview of what's doable with this CLI. As you can see, we have three main commands available. One, the export command to directly export resources from the SAP BTP, and then a, let's call it JSON flow, that allows you to first craft an inventory of your BTP sub account that then results in a JSON file that you can manipulate, for example, throw out resources that you don't want to import, and then do an export by this JSON file. We will now, in this video, follow the create JSON flow. So um, let's do a BTP TF create JSON. And what we have to do is we have to enter the ID of the sub account that we want to import. And then the BTP TF CLI will collect all the resources that are importable and uh, will create a JSON file with the technical keys of these resources. Depending on the amount of resources that you have on the business technology platform, in this case within the sub account, this collection could take some time. After the collection is finished, you have a new JSON file, which is called BTP resources underscore and the ID of your sub account, um, which lays out all the resources that could potentially be imported. Now, as you can see, this is quite a lot and I prepared a dedicated file to demo this import via JSON file, which contains less um, data. So the import should be a bit faster. So in order to trigger the import via the um, JSON file, we do a BTPTF export by JSON. We again specify the sub account ID and we also specify the source of our JSON file, namely this prepared one. And then we kick things off. Now this um, creates on the one hand side the import block and then also generates the Terraform configuration for the different entities that we defined within the JSON file. Again, this takes a bit of a time depending on the resource types, the amount of resources and so on. Now, after the export has finished, you get a little summary where you can see at a first glance how many resources of which type have been exported. And within your file system, you find several Terraform files like the provider configuration, like the generated um, configuration of your resources, and of course, also the different import blocks that are needed in order to execute the import. This gives you a first impression of the Terraform exporter for SAP BTP.